What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark Survival so Evolved. Jumping once again into our Valgaro Gaia Pyria series. Really excited to get going today, TVF Gaming. We've got a couple things planned out today. We're going to go to the Aberration Zone. I spent a little while yesterday working on a bunch of the Aberration Spawners, so that we'll have some cool spawners down in the Aberration Zone. Oh man, I love this raptor so much. But we're going to uh, go down there and kind of check it out and see how the spawns are looking. Hopefully not die and lose our raptor, because we do want to go check it, them out and get at least one cool tame today. Hopefully it will go... Halfway okay and not a big disaster, but we, we know how my taming runs usually go. And then we're probably after that going to jump in and kind of hang out with the crew, see what everybody's up to today. Oh, no, come on, just drive the raft. All right, we're going to go over to the Aberration Entrance over here on Valgaro. One of my favorite spots on the map, really cool spot. Everyone else might already be going down there, so there might be a chance that everything's gone. I don't really know. We'll have to see what's up. But I'm excited to go down here and check it out. What is that? A Ruku 130, that's really good. It's a passive tame, though. I'm not messing with that right now. No passive tames. No time for that right now. We'll kind of take a look at some of the spawns down there, though, and see how we did on it. We added some not-so-crazy stuff. Oh, what is that? A tatzel worm. One giant honey. Or run one raw mutton. Oh, man. It's super creepy and scary. I kind of want to tame it. Oh, well, it might be getting attacked by a t tibber. Does it attack back? No, he just books it. <laughs> this guy's got some speed. That's the second or third time that I've seen one of those little tatzel worms, whatever they're called. Eventually, we will tame one. I kind of want to collect a little bit of everything on the Pyrea side of things. But the main thing that we added spawns for down there was just the Gaia stuff. Tomorrow, I'm going to work a little bit on the Pyrea stuff, see if I can add some things in there. Oh, my goodness. What is this? Check out that. That is really cool. Look at that thing. I like that one a lot. That is a really cool build on top of a raft. These Gaia rafts are a lot of fun. Way too fast. Way too fast. But they're, they're not bad, though. I think that it, you should be able to maybe adjust the speed on it. What is that? What is that? An Uruku? An Uruku. Knockout tame. Five mutton. Oh, my God. Look at that. Can we... Do you think we can knock it out? It's amazing looking. We're on our way to Aberration, but I'll definitely stop to do this. Hold on. Oh, hold on, let's get our, our arrows. I have 40. How much does he have? 41,000. I don't know how much damage he does. Oh, there's another one of them. They're all over here. Okay. Not like I could hit him very well. We don't have the aim for that. Oh, come on, he's, he's holding still for you. Okay, come on back. Oh, he's messed with those tibbers. The tibbers, man, they're they're a mess. We will definitely get into some water taming eventually, but let's let's focus on aberration right now. I just want to I want to see what he looks like. How big is he? Is it a water only dino? Can he come up above? I don't even know. But yeah, let's get over here. It's not too far over here. We'll kind of do this together. If you guys enjoyed today's episode as we're running along here, there you go. Better view. If you guys enjoyed the episode, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, leave a comment down below, all those kind of things. I appreciate all the support. It's been so much fun these last couple weeks, and I'm really impressed with how much I'm enjoying this playthrough it's a big surprise uh, like I know that Gaia is amazing Gaia one, is one of the most complete just awesome dino mods ever and Pyrea has some of the most unique stuff but we weren't 100% sure how it would work together and we've added and taken away different mods as we were setting it up and this is the longest that I've ever spent setting up a server just because we uninstalled and reinstalled so many things over and over we weren't sure what we wanted to go with I kind of want to knock that guy out you think we can do it can we get him up here there you go can we get him? Okay, get him. Raptor, get him. Okay. I don't know. Oh, man, you whooped him. Okay. That didn't work. <laughs> I mean, it worked for, for that, I guess. Oh, the marauding tibber. You want some, too? Come get some, man. You're a marauding one, right? Yeah, marauding. Only got 2,000 health. Oh. <gasps> No! Okay, hold on. We gotta get out of here. Ready? Get it. Go. He broke all my stuff. He broke all my stuff, man. Alright, where is the entrance? It's right... Did I pass it? Okay, it's either here or it's the last one. Let me see. Maybe it's the next one. I know we're in the right area, but I always get it confused. What is this guy? A Ryu. Oh, we don't have that. A Dragon King's Feast. Ryu level 190. That thing looks amazing. There it is. There is the entrance. There you go. Five minutes in. We're finally where we said we were heading to. It took us a while. 
Okay, is that Tibber left us alone? We're good. All right, in we go. Here we go. Oh, why are you so overweight? Hold on, what do you have? Oh, all the things. I don't have anybody. Wait, is my aloe? I don't think my aloe's out. Let me see. If my aloe's out, we'll bring him here and I'll put all the stuff on him. He is not. Dang. Um, let's do this. Let me grab all this stuff. And we'll throw it on the that little box on the raft. And then we'll head down there. Man, super overweight. There we go. Yeah, the raptor does not have a lot of weight. So we got to be a little careful with what we do here. There we go. That. That. Just all this stuff. Get it off my inventory. I don't even know what half this stuff is for. Oh, no. We still have the simple spawner stuff. Hold on. Uh, we need to just drop that. That's for simple spawners. That's the thing that you take down below and do the spawning stuff. Oh. There you go. All right. Yeah, that's it's really cool. It's a really cool system. If you guys have never used simple spawners before, the way it works is you put a little spawner down, you put the code for the dino inside of it, and then you eventually have spawns go there. And you can set it up for intervals. You can set it up for specific levels. All kinds of cool stuff. It's a really cool system. I'm super impressed with it. Uh, just it, it makes it to where if you're on a map where the things that you're looking for don't spawn, you can add them either in a little zone or you can do it globally where it goes across the map. So what I'm going to do here later today is I'm also going to add another spawner up near my base that's just right there that I can adjust from my base where I can add like a daily special dino. I think it's kind of a cool idea. All right, yeah, right down here is where the first spawns are. Yeah, uh, Aberration was just a little bit barren, so we had to go in and kind of add some things. Crystal dinos is what we're looking for right here. Whoa, whoa. Okay, everything spawned in at the same time. Let's go ahead and see if we can get one of each one of these guys. So this is the crystal thorny dragon. Okay, a little bit scary. All right, everything spawned in on top of each other. That's not a good thing. Okay. Oh, oh, careful. All right, don't take too much damage, man. There you go. I'm trying to spread out the hits here. There we go. Got it. There you go. Between the arrow and the raptor, we should knock them out pretty quickly here. There you go. 3.5 and out. There we go. We're going to need some mutton for that guy. In fact, let's go back. We need mutton for the thorny dragon. And then we need... Oh, we have prime. Hold on, we have prime. No, we don't. We have nothing. Okay, mutton. Let's just go grab a stack of mutton real quick. Get away from the raptor. I'll get our. I'll get us a thorny dragon, and then we'll go get at least a stego or an anki or a dodicarus down there if they don't all kill each other. So you can see they spawned right on top of each other. That's a little weird. It shouldn't do it like that. It should be a pretty large radius. All right, let's go in here, and let's grab all of the mutton. And we got some amazing stuff to show you at the base real quick before we go back. Here we go. Let's just grab one, two, three, four, like a ridiculous amount. There we go. And then I think we can make a famish poston. Let me see. Famish. Can we make, like, five of these, four of these? We can make three. It's a little expensive. That's fine. We're going to save it for something amazing. We're not going to use it on these crystal guys. They're awesome, but they're not that. All right, we good? But anyways, here's what we got going on here. We've got a couple new things made up. We've got a dinosaur storage for just our dinos, and we've got a bunch of babies in here. Check this out. We've got a 375 baby Morella Tops, 245 Stego, a ridiculous Uteranus. Uh, there's a dreadful uh, Demorph a Divine Morphodon. Demorphodon, excuse me, a Kentro. Some really cool stuff that we're going to pop out together in the next couple episodes once I get our new baby place made. And I've got a really cool plan for that, too. I'll show you that really soon. All right, back to the underneath. There we go. Crystal dinos, here we come. There was a 145 crystal, uh, thorny dragon over there that I want to get to. Now, these crystal dinos are supposed to get different stuff from... Uh... Are we good? They're supposed to gather different things, so we're going to go test it out in a minute. All right, so you... Let's give you... 23 of that and we're just gonna let you chill he might tame up kind of fast how much did his hunger go down we'll see too bad his hunger doesn't drain from this guy that'd be awesome let's go see if we can get this other guy all right let's go arrows on this guy because the arrows do a little more torpor here we go one oh come on hit him there we go Yep, don't take too much damage. Hurts a little bit. Come on. Yes. Good job. This raptor is so amazing. This raptor is the MVP, man. All right. 
There we go. Everything good? So this guy, I'm going to go ahead and put a Famish Potion on. Like that. And then we'll put 33 of that. Bam. Get some meat going. We'll get this guy tamed up real quick. There we go. Feel free to wake up. Nice, man. Nice quick tame. That Famish Potion is awesome. <laughs> there we go. All right. Got him. Got him. All right, there we go. We got at least one crystal guy, and then hopefully we'll get there. a shiny storm heavenly tape ajara. Ooh, people are going to be racing for that. So we should get lots of messages for these shinies now. It's going to happen quite a bit during each episode. So if it's if it's a little annoying, I apologize, but it's going to keep happening. Oh, man. Oh, man, the stay goes wrecked to that guy. 150? Hold on. Good. <laughs> Let's try and do it without getting attacked. Uh, the 150 is a little low health. Let's leave him be. 10 125 is not bad 60 did anyone any of them go over the hill here is there some that are separated thorny dragon 125 125 they should be walking around a little more than that there they go all right they're moving around they're moving around they're just slow with it all right there's a level five that's a weird increment okay all right. 90 might be the winner for the Doeds. 90, 10, no, 125. 125 is the winner there. All right, now these, this guy, I can probably just do this. Let's go passive. Let's go like this. Oh, my bad. And 6.8 thousand shouldn't take too many shots. There's one. Oh, yeah, he's going to do the thing. Two. Just don't back up into anything. Three. Four. Need to count it down just a little more. Okay. All right. He's going to run, so let's finish it off on this guy. Got to make sure the raptor gets to help, right? He's out. All right. One down. We'll, we'll knock these ones out and just eat them real quick. There we go. Get that one. I don't think anything crazy spawns off of him, right? I hope. All right. That guy's good. I'm going to need some Mijo Berries for that. I should have made some regular kibble, but I don't think I've got a lot of kibble going. I need to get our kibble situation going. We do have a nice farm going now. So now the, the next thing is going to be working on our kibble. There we go. We need quite a bit of berries for this. Okay, stay with me, bud. Ooh, what's going on over there? There's a fight. All right. Where did the Dodicarus go? Okay, so 32 Mijo Berries. That's quite a bit. Dang. There's 13. Need a little bit more. And then we will head down further into the Aberration Zone. I do want to try these guys out today because, like I said, they're supposed to gather different things. So this would be a nice little spot for people to come and get some Crystal Dinos to help them out with this playthrough. I think. Maybe. I don't know. Just something we're working on, try to make the server a little more fun. The people playing on this server are absolutely amazing. It's been a lot of fun already. All right, hold on. Let's get some more. All right. We can gather these for a few minutes, and then we'll kind of camp out, wait on that guy. And I guess we should knock out an Anki, too, so we can just wait for both of them at the same time, right? Where are you at, buddy? Let's go get an Anki, too. Crystal Anki, super low level. Or also not an Anki. What do we got? Come on. There we go. 65. I think you're the winner, man. Oh, my bad. Did I hit him too late? I might have. It's fine. And then we'll just do the same thing. We'll throw some Mijos on you. And then I will gather until they're ready. And then we'll kind of camp out, wait for them. And then I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. We might try to knock out a Stego too, but I won't make you guys watch that. And then we'll move further into the aberration to see how dangerous it is. And then we'll go back home, try these guys out. And then the next two episodes will be hopefully finally some building. I know I tell you guys I'm going to do building all the time. And I, I'm, I'm not a good builder. So what we end up doing is build, break, build, break. And I just keep doing that over and over. So we need to get that fixed. But anyways, guys, let me get some, uh, I might, let's go get some veggies. It'll help out a little bit. I'll be right back. All right, there we go. The Dodicarus is up. We're good to go on the Dodicarus. And now we need to go get the the Stego. We knocked out this 150 Stego once it got far enough away from everybody. So we didn't have to fight them all. Oh, we could have fought, we could have fought them all for sure. But we'll go ahead and get this guy up. We went ahead and threw a whole bunch of stuff on it. Also, does that mean he's not... If he's orange, doesn't that mean he's not... Yeah, he can't mate. Interesting. Is that to deal with all these guys? Where's the thorny? 
The thorny is the same thing, so they're not mateable. Interesting. Okay, we'll have to keep an eye on that. So we got a good level Stego coming up. We've got the Thorny Dragon already. Anki's over there taming up. We used our other Famish Potion on this guy just because it's such a good level. And let's go check out the Anki. And then we'll go ahead and, I guess, wait on these guys just a little bit longer. We need to see if they finish taming up. And then we're going to head down further into the Aberration Zone. Kind of check out how the other spawns are doing. Where is the Anki? A shiny Heavenly Listro. Man, the shinies are sounding amazing. 28%. All right, and then there we go. Uh, the thorny dragons ready, and we get, we didn't need to do two. I didn't know that they were not breedable, so that's something we'll have to keep an eye on. All right, that guy's good. So there you go, a couple of thornies, stego, dodicarus is already good. Waiting on the anki, and then we are good to go. Well, no, stego's not good yet. Stego will be good in a second, and then we're waiting on the anki, and then we are we're good, man. We'll have all kinds of stuff going on. This guy's already at thirty eight percent. All right, guys, I'll see you in just a little bit. Ooh, I do have one regular kibble we can use too. Hold on, we got one regular kibble is all we had. There you go, eat that. <laughs> that'll bump him up quite a bit for effectiveness at least i mean for the uh the taming total did he already eat it he did that was quick yeah there we go crystal stego is up there we go get all those berries back nice man now we're just waiting on the last one the final one is the anki and then we will go further into the aberration i've said that like 25 times now but we are going down into the danger zone it shouldn't be too bad we didn't add any crazy spawns just yet i do want to add some worse and worse spawns and we're going to do that eventually uh let's see is it you yeah those 39 percent i think we're gonna wait let's leave them here let's leave them here we can always make our way back up this way i don't have a teleport or anything so we have to make the make our way the slow way oh what is that oh, i thought he was like knocked out 125 i love thorny dragons such a cool dino but yeah let's get down into the danger zone here i don't know where exactly the spawners are because we were in admin mode so we were flying around and they're everywhere so i don't have like the other than those guys at the entrance i don't have like the cheat codes to where everything's at uh, oh, Guilty Pleasures has a teleporter down here already. Good job, guys. <laughs> Not a surprise. All right, crystal action down here. Now, the big thing I want to build at base when we get back in the next two days, I probably, I'm going to start working on, what is that, Aberrant Equus. What's up, Aberrant Equus? I want to start working on a couple things, which, man, look at all that. What do we got going on here? A warg. What in the world is a warg? What are you? Hold on. I want a warg. There you go. Sit there and eat the equus. This is perfect. Oh, oh, the warg's coming to us now. Hold on. Hold on. He's really fast. Okay, we did hit him. Good. Okay. He's about to go out. One more bite. What in the world is a warg? Are you... What are you? You look really, really cool. It's like a hyena or a... I don't know what it is. Okay. Uh, mutton, right? Because you're a meat eater. So just three mutton. It won't take very long. I already used all my famished potions, though. Oh, man. Okay. What else do we have over here? Bulldog. Ooh, that's a nice bulldog. There you go. We're, we're not even like five steps into the, to the zone yet. And we're taming stuff again. Oh, I wish I had another famished potion. Let's leave him be for a second. No, no, don't eat the bulldog. You know better. Alright, a little worried that we're going to run into something crazy just because I don't know where the zones where we put stuff is. <laughs> so we got to be careful. There you go, eat you. We got a level out of it, nice. We probably should stop doing damage. I'm afraid that we're going to have too much damage. There you go. Alright, I'm going to wait on this warg because I don't know what it is and I really want it. I really want this. Whatever you are, you shall be mine. He looks kind of like a hyena, warthog, dog thing. I don't know. He just looks cool. Be my friend, my friend. Very cool. Oh, nice. One, yeah, it's only going to be two bites. Raw mutton is only two bites. I didn't even realize that. So it shouldn't be too long of a wait on this guy. And I wonder if he's rideable without a saddle. I kind of want to ride him. I want to see what he is. Well, let's turn all this stuff off. Get a little, real close to it. Look at this guy. Cool looking little dog. Oh, man. He's about to be our friend. This might be one of the Lord of the Rings things. Or is it a Pyrea thing? I think it's Lord of the Rings. Unless maybe it is, I don't know, Ark of the Ring, whatever. It's a really cool mod. Is that another warg? It's a warg 125. What are you? Male? What's this other one? Hold on. Let's go check. That's a female. We're going to grab it. Oh, come on. There we go. Female 125. Yeah, mateable wargs. All right. Don't even know what you guys are, but we're going to have mateable versions of you. There you go. Go to sleep. 
<laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay, we almost killed it. That was really close. Okay, we need the meat from this guy. He's got too much meat on him. All right, don't lose track of where we left it. Okay, he should be getting ready to eat too. So we just need to grab a little bit of this. We put 1,200 meat on there. That makes sense. There you go. All right, feel free to eat anytime, little buddy. Awesome, man. We'll have a couple of mateable wargs, whatever a warg is. Our breeding center is going to be kind of insane once this gets started. All right, there we go. And there you go. All right, now we camp out even longer. Oh, we got one up. Let's go see what this guy looks like. I guess I should turn the gamma up for you guys. I apologize if it's been too dark. <gasps> there he is. There he is. Let's give it to that. Let's give it to this. Look at this guy. What in the world, man? This guy looks amazing. Okay, do you need a saddle? <gasps> no saddle needed. How much damage do you do? Okay, you're definitely vanilla. Sorry, bulb dog. We won't, we won't finish you off, though. Yeah, man, it's like a little hyena. Okay. All right, uh, I know we need you. You're our buddy. No, we'll leave you out. We'll leave you out. Let's just go wait on this other one. This guy's cool. He's got a little bit of hops. A little bit of hops going. Left click is a bite, right? Right click, nothing. C button. C button, also a bite. Control, nothing. All right, starting stats, not crazy. 3,600 health. Very vanilla, very vanilla. All right, let me see. 194 level. He's got 33 damage stat, though. That's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's camp out and wait on this guy. This little warg. Oh, he's got the dire wolf thing where he can see where... The injured dinos are. Cool. All right. We wait. There we go, guys. Got the second war. We already sold all the other one. Let's get you. Yeah, there we go. Ate all the meat, I guess. Okay. All right. Further into the aberration. Let's do this. Got to be careful. If I lose my raptor today, I'll be so sad. All right. Kind of look around before we jump in anywhere. We definitely need to add some more spawns. We need to still kind of increase it so this down underneath area is a little busier. But other than that, I'm pretty stoked about all this. All right. Ready? Release. There we go. Nailed it, man. That was smooth, right? Oh, you know what? Kind of a silly tame, but I do need a dodo. Hold on. Okay, make sure you are passive. Oh, wait. I don't have, like, a... Do we do torpor by punching? We do. Seven punches. There we go. There we go. This many episodes in, we're having to punch dodos. It's a thing. Okay, you. Come here. Aberrant male dodo. We need a female. Okay. There we go. There's another one out. And is that a female? They're all males, man. What's up? Oh, you we can probably shoot one time. Hold on. Wasting the arrow on a dodo. <laughs> there we go. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Hold on. Get off me, Ravengers. Put them all to sleep, man. Yeah. We should probably put our guy on neutral so that doesn't happen again. But yeah, this doesn't help as much if these are all males. I need females just for egg laying purposes. So let's grab the high level one and then the other ones can... We'll, we'll take them all. We'll take them all. Let's do this. All right. A little bit of berry action. There we go. Oh, how many do you need? Six? I think I put six on there. Okay, this guy needs two. There we go. There you go. Some super amazing tames. I know you guys are super impressed right now. But we got to get these because we need to put these in the soul station for eggs for kibble. This will be part of our kibble solution here. There you go. There's another one. Nice. Okay. Soul ball you. You. And you're not done yet. Okay. You're taking forever. Let's go, man. Let's go. A couple more bites here and then be done. Oh, come on, man. There you go. All right, there you go. Little dodo action. All right, we continue on. We still need a female dodo, but that at least gets us a couple dodos, I guess. There we go. There we go. Here it is. This is the one we were looking for. Let's knock this one out. Five or six hits on this guy. Come on. There we go. Some super exciting dodo punching. There we go. All right. There you go. Have all the berries. <laughs> that was probably a bad idea. In case something happens, we're going to lose all of our berries. There we go. All right, was the other one a female too? No, nope, male. All right, we don't care about you then. All right, cool. That'll help. No, oh, no, demonic titan boa. This is apparently one of the areas that we put something. I saw a divine glow tail run by. Can we defeat this guy? I'm not taming him. I don't. How much damage does he do? I'm super afraid. Okay, 
Come on. Hit him at least. Oh my god, does he do Torpor? He might, but he's out. He's out. Take that. Take that, Snake. We're not taming you, for sure. <laughs> not taming you. There's some Megatheriums down there. Okay, this is definitely a spawn point. Get that stuff there. Oh my god, is there another one coming? Why is there so many? Stay away. Not a fan. All right, where's that Glowtail? There was a Divine Glowtail that snuck through here. Okay, anywhere? Come on. I don't see it. Dang. I would love a little Divine Glowtail. That'd be awesome. Oh, no, no, no. Heavenly Megatherium. Nope. We're not trying to fight you right now. I'm sorry. There we go. So at least we know where another zone is now. All right. I'm going to probably head back here in a second. I'm, I'm not wanting to get into some worse areas here. I think that is one of the areas we're worried about. Oh, it's the Aberration uh, Radiation Zone. So I don't think I can go down there just yet. Uh, it still does, does, does radiation, right? There are some bad dinos in there. We definitely added a couple of spawns down there for some bad stuff. So be careful down that way. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. I, th I think it's time to head out. We can go back to the entrance this way. We'll go pick up our Anki on the way out, and then we'll be good to go. We got ourselves at least one Dodo for egg laying purposes, and then we'll worry about getting some regular ones later on up there back at the base place. But, yeah, I'll meet you guys up at the base area. We'll be there in just a minute. I could teleport home, but we got to go back for our Anki. There we go. There's our last buddy. The Anki is up. So we got all the crystal dinos. Perfect. And if they really don't tame or they don't breed, we don't really need to get any more. So we're good to go. All right, back to the lake place. We I, we could show you a bunch of the babies that we have, but I think what we're going to do is go ahead and just test out these crystal dinos, check out the wargs in the sunlight now that we can see them. Let's do this. Let's go like that, like that. A shiny jungle aberrant trike. Man, they're teasing us. Let's take a look at these crystal guys out here in the light. So we'll go crystal dinos right here. So there's the doid. There is the thorny dragon. All right, and the stego we'll put like this. And then the wargs will move up front. Let's move these guys up front so we can get a good look at these guys. Warg one, warg two. Oh, they got yellow highlights. How cool is that? And then aberrant dodo, no, we need the anki. There we go. Oh man, check this out. We got all kinds of guys. Look at this, man, I'm pretty stoked about this. Oh, they get a pack damage uh, bonus too. So there you go. Oh, they get a little glitchy in the sun right there. That's weird. Okay. Oh, man, I like these guys. Check these guys out. The wargs. So we got the wargs, and then we've got the crystal dinos. Look at these guys. They look pretty amazing. Let's go see if I can get myself a couple. Ooh, ooh. We lagged a little bit. Did I take too many pictures? I might have hit the picture too many times. All right, let's go. We're going to go in here and get saddles. I assume they use vanilla saddles, and we'll test what they get on all the different resource stuff. All right, so let's go probably just vanilla saddles, uh, Smithy. So we'll go saddle. No, no, sorry. Anki. All right. Then we'll go Doed. And then Stego. Oh, Stego's probably on mine. Stego. And Thorny. Thorny Dragon. Perfect. We got it. All right. There we go. Let's grab the saddles. That one, that one, and that one. And let's go test these guys out. Crystal Dinos. Never tried these before. Like I said, Teru Total said they gather some crazy stuff. So if, if we're wrong, it's her fault. We blame Teru. All right. Let's go Stego first. All right. Get that Stego saddle. All right. They definitely look kind of like some variants of like the Aberration ones. They look really cool. All right. Oh, man. They're so slow. He's so slow. All right, does he gather different berries, or is it just from trees, maybe? Uh, oh, we got to have that on. Hold on. Did he gather anything? Okay, just regular berries from that. Let's go ahead and pick these other guys up so we have them, and then we'll probably take the wargs out a little bit, but I don't want to lose them until I make some babies of that. All right, there you go, that guy. All right, Thorny. And then... No, Anki. And Doid. There we go. And let's do it. All right. Let's go hit at least a tree. Oh, my God. We're so slow. Big giant Stego. So slow. He does look amazing, though. Look at that. I like the colors on these. guys are really cool. All right. Go over here. And eventually, 10 years from now, whack it. 
Uh, we got Gaia Mushroom. <gasps> I got a Gaia Mushroom. That's huge. And a Kimoya. Kimoya? I can totally pronounce that. Kimoya Fruit. So that one is cool. Used in different recipes. Consume it to slowly fill your stomach and heal your body. The Gaia Mushroom. We're glowing mushroom used in different recipes. Consume it if you dare. And a Hemp Bud. Okay. Cool, man. All right. Stego, you're amazing. We will definitely have to use you to gather some things. Okay, let's go with the next one. Next one is the Anki. Hopefully one of these guys gathers the metals. Uh, let's see, just flint, stone, metal. Nothing from that. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there, but it might be specific kinds of rocks, or we might have to go to our... Hold on. We might have to go to our metal spot. That might be a good idea. Hit metal with this guy. That makes more sense with him, right? Okay. He's so slow compared to our divine, though. Our divine Anki is amazing. All right. Go hit this stuff. Let's see what it's like. There we go. Zinc, copper, metal, magnesium, and iron. There we go. All right. We're going to definitely have to level this guy up so he'll gather a little bit more. There you go. And he's a decent level. <gasps> Do you see what that is? That is a Dwarven Ram, but we don't have any sweet veggie cakes. Eventually, man, eventually. That is really cool. There we go. Oh, man, I, I want to tame that guy. But there you go. Now we're getting some of the metals so we can start getting into some of the Gaia armor and stuff like that. All right, let's do this. Let's send you back like this. Back to the lake. To the lake with you. And then we'll go with the Doid. All right, and he probably just gathers from stone, I guess. No, you got the oh six creature DNA, essence of the void, Gaia bonsai cherry. <gasps> These guys are amazing. This is awesome. Okay, I just need to, and he's getting good stone from these, but I don't want to use up all the metal nodes. Let's hit a a legit stone piece here. All right, now what? Same thing. Okay, same thing. No difference there. The Gaia bonsai cherry. That's really cool. Okay. All right. Oh my bad. All right, you go back, and then the last one will be the Thorny Dragon. Okay, the Thorny. 187. Oh, do did we, did we do the wrong one? We might have. Hold on. 217, and this other guy is the 187. Let's switch that. Okay, you give me the saddle, and go away. Oh, come on. There we go. Let's do your saddle. Oh man, let's do it. Put this away. All right, what do we get? Nothing from that. Doesn't he gather stone or something? How do we gather with this guy? I thought he gathered. Maybe we're crazy. Okay, he's getting rare mushroom and flowers. Is that normal? I don't know if it's normal or abnormal. We don't know. A shiny motley otter. 4424. Hopefully True's on our way there. There you go. So rare flowers is not going to be a problem anymore. That's awesome. Cool. Very, very cool. All right, guys. I'm going to go back and probably play on the wargs a little bit. Try and get me a baby warg going. And then we'll kind of check those out in the next few episodes and see how strong they can get. I think they're very, very vanilla based. So we're not going to see like a huge number of damage on those guys. But they should still be pretty amazing. But I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment down below. All those kind of things. I'll see you in the next episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Valgero, Gaia, Pyria, Shiny Dino, Marnie Mod, all the things. Really appreciate it. See you in the next episode.